Hey YouTube, what's happening? Marlin Model 25. Technically, this would be part three of this project video. We performed a few upgrades to this to make this rifle more awesome and fun. And we're gonna talk about that in this video. Before we get into it, we're gonna go ahead and verify, and these new magazines are kind of hard to get out sometimes, that this is empty, safe. Any gunfire that you see in this video or shooting was performed at an actual gun range, staffed with range safety officers, completely compliant with all YouTube rules. So now that we got that out of the way, one of the things that we did was mounted some swing stubble, swing sling studs here so we can mount an actual sling. This did not come with any mounts or studs for mounting a sling. So we ordered some off Amazon. They came in yesterday. We took the afternoon and uh, drilled it all out, mounted them, put on this GI style sling here. And then uh, we got the new higher capacity magazines in in the mail just on Saturday. So we went ahead and tested those out. So uh, a lot of upgrades here. Previous videos included the optic and the first video being on the gun itself, of course. So again, this is part three. We'll put links down in the descri description if you wanna go check out those other ones. But uh, one of the reasons we wanted to get a sling on there is to aid in the accuracy of standing and shooting. And so I'm getting tangled up in my microphone here. And so we went ahead and decided that we were going to add those studs to the rifle to make this a more complete shooting system, which I think we're arriving. A uh, few uh, minor things that I'm going to continue to do to this, so this might not be the last video on this, but uh, I figured we'd go ahead and set it down on the table and I'd show you in a little bit more detail what I actually did to upgrade this rifle. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, well, I'm gonna go into a brief description of how I did this. I'm not gonna show it because I've already did it, obviously, and plus YouTube doesn't really like that. But uh, just to reiterate YouTube that all of these magazines and guns are empty and uh, everything here is safe. And I just wanted to mention for those that might be interested that are following along to kind of everything, this is the tactical barrel band I mentioned for the 1022 in this morning's stream. We did install it this afternoon. This product is actually from ProMag, which these are technically discontinued. You can see the original barrel band in there. But this thing's cool because you can actually mount the sling there to this uh, side and don't have to use the you know, onboard sling mounts. And then it's got these weaver rails where you could put it on a bipod or a flashlight. Uh, makes it a little bit more tactical, which I thought was kind of cool. So. Anyway, the Marlin M25, this was uh, one of two rifles that we actually mounted sling studs to today and mounted a sling to. The other one being a brown stocked Ruger 1022. But you can see this kind of up close here. So that's the actual stud there installed. You can see, kind of hard to see with the constantly adjusting camera. Maybe the rear, yeah, you can see a little bit better there. And it's just simply these guys right here, whoa, which I just spilled all out because it was open. So we will not be editing this out. We try to keep the editing for scene changes and not for mistakes. I used to do all this stuff where I'd go out of my way to not edit because there's some people that I really look up to that make videos and don't ever edit and I got to thinking well it's technically a skill set I have so there's nothing wrong with editing but I digress these are the little studs you can see we have short and long ones and then some with the actual fine threads for particular applications and we simply drilled a hole in it I got some you know <clears throat> tips from a forum that mentioned putting some duct tape on the wood stock to prevent splintering of the wood as we drilled. Also another tip was to use a punch to mark a little divot in the area you're gonna drill so the drill doesn't go to the side. That's just really general drilling advice, I guess. I don't do a lot of drilling of wood. And this is the first time I have ever installed swing, swing, sling studs on a rifle. And we did two today. So this is the old style cotton GI sling. I have probably four or five of these. And the new one we got today installed on the Ruger 1022 was of course 
this pretty slick black one. But that's the sling and the studs, obviously to use as a shooting aid. We took it down there and uh, another thing that we wanted to do today was verify the new 10 and 15 round magazines that we picked up from, I don't remember what it's called, it's like Gun Mag Warehouse or something. I'll put a link down in the description. Very interesting about these, there was no picture in the description. It was like no picture was available. So this is the uh, 10 round and this is the 15 round. And when I was loading them up, I first noticed that, well, why are they 10 and 15 when they're the same size? And it became apparent when I got to the 10th round on this one that it wasn't going any further because they've actually installed a pin in there where there is no pin in this one. So they're actually the same magazine. One has just been modified to prevent more than 10 rounds going in there, which I've seen before. I used to have a 22 Uzi that was like that. They modified 25 round magazines to make them 10 round magazines, probably California or some other commie state thing. But uh, anyway, we uh, went ahead and there was a multi-purpose to this whole exercise, right? This is the part three of this project, but we got several things going on. We got new sling studs and a sling, and then we were verifying the zero on the scope from the last time. So we'll put a link in the description if you're interested. That is the cheapest scope on Amazon. It was $19. Last I checked, it was going for $17. The zero was dead on from the time before, as you will see from the first two shots off the bag at 25 meters with the new magazines. And uh, we took those two shots and took a break, went down there, checked them out, and we were pretty much dead on. So now the magazines are obviously functioning, but there has been some challenging or challenges, particularly with the 10 rounder with difficulty going into the actual gun. Uh, we're going to try lubing these up and see if we can't find some problem spots, but you can see it compared to the original magazine that came with the gun. Again, this is a, this is a pawn shop gun and this is the third video I've done on this gun. So if you're interested in kind of the beginnings, this came with no scope, came with no sling studs, plain Jane, one magazine. We've now upgraded with the optic sling studs, a sling and extra capacity magazines, 10 and 15. We'll probably see if we can knock that stud out and just have two 15 rounders. So we can have a high capacity assault bolt action rimfire. That's a joke. Okay, I stole that joke from Hickok45, actually. I still laugh at that. He was doing a review on like a nine shot revolver or something and he referred to it as a high capacity assault revolver and I still chuckle to this day about that. But uh, we went ahead and uh, ran through the magazines and then one of the things that's really interesting about this rifle that I've never seen in another one, and I'm, you know, I'm no gun expert, I'm just a gun enthusiast, so it's not like I've seen a lot, but it says right here, Caliber 22 S, L, and L, L, R. I don't know if you can see that. So I went ahead and verified that you could load up some shorts in one of these magazines. So first we went ahead and just loaded up like five, just to see how they went in with a follower and the function of actually loading. Then we put, put the magazine in the rifle, cycled one round, and uh, immediately it got boogered up. And I realized what you had to do is basically not monkey up the cycling of the bolt. If you smoothly cycle the bolt through each round, it will load those shorts from the magazine, which is impressive. So it did actually work. So I am really excited to have another rifle that's actually magazine fed that will shoot shorts. That is awesome. I am really loving this Marlin 25. Uh, truth be told, I tried to get a Marlin 25M, which is the Magnum version of this. I've actually still kind of interested in one, although my, uh, my interest has kind of moved on to a new object of interest, if you will. But uh, I did get outbid last night on one of these in the Magnum configuration on Gun Proger. But I mean, I've just been super obsessive about rimfire lately and I really want to have a 25 Magnum rifle. So 
I got my eyes set on some semi-auto options right now, but Marlin 25, I am loving this project gun. Uh, one thing that's kind of a bummer is I did lose the rear scope cap, but uh, we'll have to maybe modify and shit rig something up to uh, fulfill that function. But let's see if there's anything else I'm forgetting about this particular gun. It's nice to have a sling. Now that I've, I'm learning to shoot, I have been sending bullets down range for many a year, but it's only over the last year or two, which I think I've really been getting better at actual shooting. And I use the slings a lot as a shooting aid. And so that's why we went ahead and picked up yet another one of these. But one option that is out there is this little guy that I got from the Project Appleseed store, where you can just run a sling around this and then put this up the front of a rifle that doesn't have sling mounts for some stabilization. I thought that was kind of cool. Figured I'd share. But overall, loving this project. Great little gun. It's been super accurate, even with that janky $18 scope. And so, Marlin 25, project part three. Hope you enjoyed. If you like this content and are not subscribed, consider subscribing. Be sure to like, hit the bell, whatever. It doesn't seem to work on this channel anyway. The notification did redo there. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care.